Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you for the love and support. Um, watching the videos and, you know, sharing is greatly appreciated from my humble heart. I love y'all. Thank you. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl is about to upload her next video. Also, if you feel like, the, uh, if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you just have to tell me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the, the video has been very informative to you or gave you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one or a friend or especially if they truly need it at that point in time please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and even also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for showing the love and support towards me it's greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and um y'all know I, I said i'm gonna go ahead and be putting my daughter's um uh website information on the description box below and and hoping you can be able to stop by her website and check her uh, her project out. She's trying to publish her book uh, with different poets um, and different artists that she's collaborated with, and they're putting all their ta their their talent in this book. You know, so she was just you know needing donations. So it'd greatly be appreciated if you can be able to help her out with that. Um, even if it's just like a dollar or two, it would all be greatly appreciated. So um, today, this beautiful meditation has got me so calm too and I really love that um, it's called remove toxins toxin and cleanse negative energy meditation music uh, spiritual healing uh, detoxification and I will post that link in the description box below y'all I'm just getting so many downloads this is like my seventh video I'm doing back to back and I'm grateful to be able to do that because you know it takes a lot of energy to do these videos especially if you're, you're getting downloads at the same time and trying to push out energy like that it takes a lot so that's the reason why a lot of times y'all see me drinking my monster drink like I'm doing today you know I sound tired but I need that extra energy so I can be able to push these videos out because that takes a lot. But yeah, the video I'm doing today, I said I'm going to do one more video. You probably won't be able to see this until the next day anyway because I got uh, six more ahead of this one. Um, it's Twin Flame 101, Hey Ocus, When Universe is Unveiling Messages to You. Um, they are telling me, I, uh, you know, I was talking to one of my other love bugs on the one-on-one -on -one and... You know, they were telling me about the situation they were going through. And next thing you know, I was getting ready to put universe. And then I saw unveiling pop up. You know, it was just like certain trigger words will come up towards me. I'm like, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, unveiling is coming. So it's just like you really could be going through the motions right now. You're probably going through an emotional period of time right now. And you're trying to really, like, what is this? What is this you're trying to teach me? I'm going through so many different emotions. And it's something, it's a process we all had to go through. And it had to all be filtered down. From what they're telling me right now, it had to be filtered. You know, you had to go through these situations, go through these trials and tribulations. You know, probably bringing up old things you really don't want to think about. But it's all had to be that process for you to be able to get the lesson to the situation. And, it, it you know, it's going to take a lot. You know, like I told y'all, there's a lot of people who's got family members passing away. They're, they're going through breakups, divorces, you know, you might be going through a uh, change of jobs or looking for a different job because you're not satisfied with the job you're at. And, you know, and it could be really frustrating, but it's like sometimes you have to think outside the box, look at it as a positive perspective. Because, you know, you might be going through a negative situation, but you always have to look at the highlight, the the, let me see what word I'm using. The positive highlight of that situation, that, that, that negative, negative experience. Because it's just like when I look at my, my situation, I, I can say, yeah, I've been through a very negative, dark situation, but I'm flipping it over into a positive outcome, which you always have to do because there's always a reason, you know, you know, I, I've talked to my extended family, family love bugs who are like, Rosalind, I just lost my job. First thing I'll pop out saying, is this the job that you wanted? 
or were you happy at this job or it's just something you're like Ugh. you know i used to i ain't gonna even lie i know people that had to drink going to the job i was at before you know i had to smoke a blunt before i went to my job there was a couple of them i had to smoke blunts too before i went into work to have that unbelievable happy moment because <laughs> i already knew i had to prepare myself for all oh, lord these people or i hate doing this job you'll be amazed how it's like the little simplest thing will get you fired and you're like I ain't never been in trouble before. I never did this, you know, never been in this, never been in that. Because the last few jobs I had, I went in there sick. The only time on my last job, I was there for a while. Only time I took time off when I was scheduled is because my daughter was getting ready to have my grandbaby. And that was the only time I missed that job. Even though I couldn't stand it with a passion, they, they never had me call in late. I never was late for my job. Even though they put me through pure hell when they found out who I was related to. They found out I just had to up and walk off that job. I said, before y'all make me catch a case and kick everybody's ass in this building and flip y'all over with this building on top of y'all, I will quit. <laughs> and I had to do that because those folks were about to really take me out my character because it was like, you know, it was, they went through a hard mode, really put me through a hard time. You know, they didn't want to pay me that extra time when I was supposed to get time and a half for it. They, they wanted to pay me for money where they owed me almost a, a good grand. And I had to just pray for it because my friends was like, girl, you going to come up here and get your check? I said, girl, if I come up there and get my check, I'm going to end up going to jail while I'm trying to get my check. I ain't going to come up there because I already know I'm going to come out of my character. I'm going to really have to bump some folks up because it was just the fact is, you know, a, a person was in a situation with me and they saw me snap. And I mean, I really went to the, you know, the, the Sasha fear side. I'll tell you real quick, don't allow Sasha to come out her cage because if that beast come out the cage, anybody seen the movie Split? <laughs> if you seen the movie Split and you know how he had all them daggone different personalities and when that beast came out, when you see it, all them daggone muscles and stuff and he crawling up walls, that's how my Sasha Fierce was. I, I no, heck no. I said, before I allow that beast to come out, and because I already got that heifer on, you know, padlocks with two or three locks on her. When that one bust out and, you know, it was just that person was jealous of me and they went back telling somebody about that. So they wanted to pull that trigger to just to have that come out on me, too, so they'll have something negative to say about me because they couldn't. They couldn't say anything bad about me because I never gave them any reason to. So they wanted to have that on me. But before I let allow myself to come out of character like that, I up and walked off that job. And even though because people seen how they were putting me through situations, you know, they would give me the most wor worst thing and they would do it to me back to back to back. And they knew I was tired because I was going through this every day. And they were just trying to put me put me through changes. And then come to, lo and behold, when I when I say I'm gonna leave that alone, these folks end up getting fired from their job. And they've been out there for 10 or 12 years. They got fired from their job, lost all kind of pensions and everything. And I said, see, you see how, how things happen in a mysterious way? Because when they found out who I was related to, they, they wanted to press buttons on that. And I said, and they already know the, you know, the person that knew that situation about my father knew that was like a, when you go poking at that, you know, somebody got their face busted up last time they did that so she was like oh that'll be her trigger moment so you know they were trying to use my weakness against me and little did they know just because they tried to poke at that hungry lion they end up getting bit back in return so it's just like you know you have to go through these things go through these motions you know you're like Roz and I really needed my job yes we know you really needed your job but you were more miserable at that job than you were enjoying it you should be able to have a career that does not feel like a job you know, like this, I love to do that. Um, there's times I got to take off because I'm going to download it so much and I'm so tired. I need to go ahead and recharge. But there is nothing about this job I hate. There's nothing about it, you know, because I push out positivity. And I know that is, you know, it's, it's blessing somebody else in the process because I'm, I'm is giving them that chance to allow them to look at their situation and be able to look at it from a different perspective and a different angle to know this is something you had to go through. So it's just like when I know I'm working towards something that is going to give me blessings as well as others as well, because this is just not for me. It's for, you know, for whoever's watching my videos, too. And that's the beautiful part of it. It's just like I don't feel like this is a job. This has humbled me. This has blessed me in so many different ways that, you know, it gets me emotional at times because y'all send me the, the most beautiful, touch, heart touching comments there's days that i sit there and cry and it might take me two days just to be able to respond to you and i'm usually not like that 
because I usually try to make sure, you know, I get back to you in a couple of hours or at least the next day. But if I'm going through something, I feel like your power is in your words. This power is in your thoughts and energy. So it's just like if you really pull it on my heartstrings, I'm like, oh, no, you didn't do me that way. And, you know, there's people that do that. I'm like, don't make me cry because I'm, I'm like, I can't be a Power Ranger all the time. <laughs> and I'll tell y'all real quick, I can't be a Power Ranger all the time. I get those sensitive moments and it pulls on my heartstrings. But then when it when I got to that point where I said I hated going through what I went through, I wish I never went through this. But then when I can actually look at it positively, a positive perspective and say you know what look at what your pain had a purpose for it you had to go through all these things just for people to be able to look at their situations and not saying oh well my stress is worse than yours no it wants to tell you no matter how hard life is getting thrown at you about a situation how much pain you've gone through you can be able to overcome anything that's been thrown at you you can be able to heal from it it might not be today or tomorrow but you can be able to heal from it and learn to say you know what this not really taught me something you know you don't went through hell and hot water you might have lost people and you know in the process people don't passed on but you have to be able to appreciate those little simple things for when it was there you have to be able to really appreciate that so knowing when you're going through something, universe is unveiling things to you, you know, especially with this, the, the snow full moon, it unveiled a lot of stuff to y'all and it, we're going to all have that aha moment and it's just like, you know, one of my love bugs told me, you know what, this is going to be a spiritual awakening for the best, but some of them are going through that, you know, they got to go through the filters a process of going through it so you're going to have all different emotions going to come up like with mine i, I just keep on saying oh i love you universe or i love you twin i, I love you you know i'm just glad this has happened because it, it gave me that point in time where i know you know everything is going to be okay i just had to go through this situation to get to it so knowing everything that you're going through has purpose and you just have to sit there and when you're when you're not in your emotions and when you're not in your feelings you'll be able to know what that message was to come back and teach you so just pay attention to the signs. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. Much love to all. I'm sending my post notification shout outs out to Big Drone Flyer 77, Treasure Seasons, and um, Masada. I think that's how you pronounce your name. I'm so sorry if I, I murdered it up. I'm, I, I promise I, I didn't mean to. Uh, hoarsely. So much love to all y'all. Sending love and blessings and love and light. Send out as much love and love and light and positivity as you possibly can know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days so much love to you like and subscribe give me a thumbs up you know hit the notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and you know drop me a line and let me know you know you're getting something out of this uh message that you got and i will see you on my next video peace be wild